Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so wanted to make a quick video on these before I started wearing them. Um, these are the Nike Delta Force from 1986. So the original pair, size 13. <clears throat> um, yeah, so this one I have tried on and worn a little bit, um, and they do fit. And because there's no air bubble inside, um, they are still fairly wearable, I hope. Um, you can see the rubber here has um, dried up a little bit and yellowed, but um, should still be able to wear them. The only obstacle you'd kind of run into is if they started, um, if, if this rubber started to crack then that would uh, certainly be no good. But um, I think just given the amount of drying, um, it still feels pretty uh, bendable. So um, also the sole still feels pretty good. So I'm gonna try to see if I can wear them. Um, but yeah, they, uh, I guess I should mention, so they did make a Delta Force AC and then this is just the original Delta IV. So I think this model came out um, first and um, the AC was right after it, um, I think in 1987. And this one is 1986, as you can see, 86, um, made between August and October of 86 in the TY factory and the size is 13. So, um, I believe the difference between the AC and the on the just the Delta Force was the Delta Force does not have air, so you can actually um, I think the as you can see there's no it's not air Delta Force, um, so there's actually no air unit, um, just the solid rubber sole, and then you do have kind of a squishier foam here, um, not polyurethane no it's it's not breaking down it's actually still squishy so. Um, right here, you see the rubber is actually still very rubbery and has not aged. It's um, not dried and yellowed right here. Feels probably fairly close to what it did when it was new. Um, this was likely where uh, the sticker was that said, um, I think something like non-marking outsole. Um, back in the day, they were marketing that uh, because gym floors would get all scuffed and so they would Put the non-marking outsole sticker on there so um, the inside is also it's not aged it's still really good here but like always for some reason one shoe or one side of the shoes ages a lot faster um, this pair is uh is a little better but still kind of dried but um, yeah, so, or this shoe, I should say. This shoe is actually still dead stock. Um, you can see the, there's no, there's no creases at all, which is kind of nice. Um, just a really high quality shoe. The leather is, is, um, you know, stuff that you don't just, you don't see anymore on shoes, like even premium shoes. It's just a real, you can tell it's really durable. Um, it's not tumbled or anything, but it's just really thick. And um, you, it's back when they started off shoes, you know, that thick, almost, it's kind of a firm leather almost, but it's when you'd actually be able to break the shoe in by wearing it, the leather would soften up and kind of shape to your foot. Um, and it's pretty much the same leather all around the shoe. Um, but yeah, really nice shape. You can see the silhouette. The, um, this one, there was I think there was some paper. I got these um, a couple years ago, but I think before that there was some paper that was um, pushed up, which the bridge right here was pushed up. So you have this kind of diagonal line, but um, you can kind of see from here how it's really, it's just the whole, you can see right there how it's like been pushed up for so long. Um, this one didn't really have that and has a little bit more of a, kind of a lower, but I think 
just with wear. It'll come back down to this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go close up here in the toe box. Super nicely crafted. The tongue, um, this would have been like painted uh, white paint on the whatever materials under it, but it's uh, dried and aged and gotten kind of sticky. So that's, uh, that's definitely one part. Also up here, it's gonna be cracking off eventually like that, but that's all right. Inside. And then this is also some uh, patina that's aged. It used to be, would have been obviously the same color up here. It's really nice, um, nice uh, mesh. It's very soft, a lot of padding. And the most unique thing about this shoe, which they had on um, Nike's back in the day, one, it's so it's a size 13 and uh, it's just cut super narrow. Like putting this on is just, it's so much more narrow than um, than Nikes nowadays, or just shoes in general. Um, it just really hugs your foot tightly. And then also the back, I don't know if you can see, but the back for a size 13 is like very narrow. It's almost like the size, like probably like a size 10 or something back there. So it's a super small heel cup. see here too definitely much more of a longer narrower shoe but yeah the uh, construction is pretty good actually very good and then this plastic is not dried out just a really nice really nice silhouette of a old school Nike basketball shoe pull this one out it's laced up this one um, the patent patina on this is uh, guessing like I think a lace might have been covering this you know it might have been sitting in the box on on a lace because um, for whatever reason this little section did not age as uh, as much which is kind of cool you just see the I mean the you know 86 it's almost 40 years ago so these things are definitely pretty old um, you can just see the depth of the leather here, which is pretty cool. All these wrinkles. And um, I mean, it's not an especially rare shoe for, um, yeah, the old school big Nike high tops from the 80s that are so popular nowadays um, you know they can fetch quite a bit of money but the Delta Force seems to be I think there's just more of them out there um, they actually you actually can find them for a pretty decent price compared to some of the other old-school high tops um, and then back here it's actually not like a plastic, see if I can focus in here. It's not like a plastic cup. It's almost like a, um, almost feels like a leather kind of back here, which is interesting. You'd think it was plastic, but it's like a painted leather. And then the pull tab here, see, 
crooked, not, you know, nothing was kept perfectly, but you do see the thickness of the leather there. Very nice. And you can see just how much padding, you know, they would have up there. And then it does have a narrow, the heel cup in verse size 13. So pretty unique cut. And that's all, that's kind of the reason why I decided I'm actually going to start wearing them just because, um, you know, it's, it's a big, you know, it's a big size, size 13, but they're not bulky and, you know, they have a nice, they hug your foot nicely so you can kind of thrash around in them, get them dirty and, you know, still comfortable without, you know, just clunking around in a big old, um, you know, if they retroed these, they'd just be like stiff and they would just feel almost like too bulky and not, uh, not that classic feel. So hopefully they hold up. But uh, yeah, just want to make a quick vid on these. Don't have the OG box or anything, but they are the OG laces. And uh, yeah, no OG insole. So I'm going to have to put in insoles. But hope you guys like the vid. Um, going to post some more reviews here soon. And uh, real quick on the preparations here. They're really. They're, um, yeah, just different than the perforated leather now. They're like, you can tell, um, you know, each hole was punched pretty carefully almost. It's like, you can kind of see a little bit of that. Yeah, interesting. But stay tuned for more reviews and thanks, thanks for watching.